Hi, I'm Lisa Vanderpump and I am in Andrew's chair and Mr. Cohen is in the hot seat. So let's go. Are you ready? Yes. How does it feel? Well, ask me in 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let me just recall the last reunion. Yes. When you beat the crap out I of me. I know you feel like you, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes, you I, feel yes, like that. Yes, I know, yes, I, I, I know. know. Okay, what was the most cringe well, no, hold on, but before we, let's talk about that reunion a little bit. Because my recollection is that you walked away and then we spoke the next day because I was at a Lady Gaga shoot. Yes. And she talked to you on the phone because yeah. she wanted you to do the video. And you were saying, I got beaten up at the reunion, da 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 da. But I don't think, and you tell me if I'm right or wrong, I don't think that you felt that I was unfair to you at the reunion until it the, aired. Because I think maybe, maybe, because I felt that when we were sitting there at the end of the day, you and I were fine. When yes, I but I was shell-shocked. I felt shell -shocked. after nine hours of this kind of constant harassment, basically, right, right. and also, you know, six episodes of seeing that just before you get there. Right, right. Yes, I, I was just like, okay, please to get through it. Right. But yes, I didn't feel you gave me a break, so... You don't, you don't feel like I gave you the break, a break yeah, that day? I don't think you made everybody else answer to some of the things that had gone down you, on you, my behalf. Got it. Okay, well, I apologize. Okay, oh. Oh, I like that. Yes. Okay, good. So what was the most cringeworthy Real Housewives of Beverly Hills reunion moment of all time for you? Wow. I think at season one, when there was, um, Kyle and Kim had gotten in the fight about, in the back of the limo. Oh, yeah. Where Kim, where Kyle had said, you're an alcoholic. No, she actually said you're a fucking alcoholic. Right. Sorry, just That's say. right. No, you're right. <laughs> yeah. And remember that in the room that I was trying to bring it up. And Kim, there was, I, I remember even beforehand, it was all of our first reunion. And I remember there was a lot of electricity in the air about this Kim Kyle thing and about whether the elephant in the room would actually be addressed. And if you remember, we hadn't actually seen it, the cast, until you heard it at the reunion. Do you remember that? Oh, is that true? Yeah, so we were all shell-shocked. Right. Yeah. And so I was trying to talk to her about this issue that had been brought up, and she was very, she was like, I don't want to talk about this. And there was a moment where, and I think that I had been told by the producers before the reunion that it was something that that maybe everyone else felt comfortable talking about, but no one spoke about. I mean, it was oh not, God, no. no, it was never mentioned. No. it was no. absolutely. So the, that was yeah, very yeah, awkward. Yeah, that I'm, was very awkward. It was awkward. I, it was awkward when Adrian didn't show for that reunion, and I kind of made oh, that, that was, snide that comment was and I threw the t-shirt. Are you kidding me? You like that? <laughs> um, but uh, but. That's the, for some reason, it's such a random moment, that Kim moment from the yeah, first one, yeah. but it was very... That was really as intense, I think, that moment in the limo as I've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, that was, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. do your best impression of Yolanda Foster. Have you got your clogs on? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, I, can I do a Yolanda impression? Just try. Uh, um... <laughs> Stick some lemons up your butt and give it... <laughs> Um, Go on. I love, I'm a Finnish girl. I'm from I'm from Finland. She's and from I, no, Holland. No, she's not. I'm from Holland. I always get Holland and oh. Finland wrong. Oh, there's Don't a huge tell her. difference. No, okay, know. okay. I, I'm from Holland. I'm tough stock. I like my lemons. That's Girlfriend? a terrible. I love you, David. I love you, <laughs> my honey, love. Mommy. I made a I made my some love. sparkling water for us. You so comment bad. about Joyce in your book, and do you think casting her was a mistake? Oh, I did. Now, have you read my book yet? No, oh, okay. it's only been out like You're two days. It. You're in it. Yeah, but I did read some excerpts from it. Oh, okay. Yes. And I say in the book, that you knew I talk the about the reunion, and I thought that it would be her last. I just felt like it would based no, on... No, wrong. You said she was no longer a housewife at the reunion. No, no, no. What I said is... No, that's not true. What I said is that my mind started wandering at the reunion, as, as sometimes it does, and that I was thinking, 
how insane would it be if this if we like evicted a housewife at the reunions, which is a horribly <laughs> terrible idea to do. And like it was like Survivor, and it was like right. you're no longer a housewife. Oh, right. It was yeah, like yeah, a yeah. fantasy thing. That was yeah. that was, and it was not personal towards Joyce. And what I also wrote about was I called Joyce a river of words because she was really she she had a lot to say. And and she, she was, was and it was, she was bugging Yolanda so much. But when you were sitting at that reunion, did you think that? Did you think that both Carlton and Joyce would be back, or what did you think? I felt that in that season they didn't get a great break. I right. think the dynamic of the show was so focused on kind of having a go at me, they lost their way a little bit, mm. and it became too negative. I think they weren't shown in their entirety, and that's really kind of bothered me. Well, I th and I actually made the point in my book that I thought that Carlton actually specifically got an unfair yeah. shake, because talking to her at the reunion, we portrayed her as a kind of bad um, witch. Well, as a bad witch, she but was also a good witch. well, but also she's you know she's a PTA mom. She you know we portrayed her all the sex stuff, yeah, and the Wiccans, the Wicca stuff, and yes. that was kind of it. And so I know that there was more to her, and I felt like she got an unfair shake. Yes, I I think so too. And yeah, she was, yeah, she was a great mother, and she absolutely had come much more compassion. I right, think we and I think that it would have been more interesting actually if we had shown. Her more well-rounded. Right, exactly. Yes. Then you're like, yeah. oh wow, this woman yes. loves having these sexy parties, but she's also a PTM. You know, it's just... yeah. The dichotomy would have right. been more, yeah, more interesting. Okay, very good. Yeah. So you just pick the ones on there you like. You no, know, okay. Well, who? And shag you can ask me anything you want, as I said. Okay. When was the last time you had sex? Oh my god. <laughs> with a woman. <laughs> oh, never. 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 Yeah. Mm. You've never had sex with a woman. Never full. Full Monty. What? No, I'm a gold never, star gay. Are you serious? No, yes. I mean fooling I'm around. I'm, oh yeah, fooling around. Well, how do you know you don't like it? How do? Well, because I like dudes so much more. Yeah, but you don't know if you haven't tried. You Not know, that I'm offering. I'm just saying. Thank you. Well, I was wondering. <laughs> I was getting kind of awkward in here. No, but I thought maybe it would be fun if I was maybe in a throuple with a man and a woman. Oh, okay. Well, I'll get Ken over here. See if we give it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do you think would be the best and worst thing about having me as a boss? Having you as a boss? I think you'd be a very good boss. I can't think of anything bad. Do you want a job at Sir? <laughs> you know? It, it I might wonder who I would sleep with if I, if I had a job at Sir. Oh, Sir. let me tell because, you. Because, by the way, I think all those guys are a cocktail away from doing it with a guy. I mean... Oh, yeah. I well, mean, how do you know they haven't? Did you ask oh, them? Oh, no, I'm sure. Oh, no, by the way, I, I no, I'm not going to get into specifics, but I think... There's someone that I think has definitely done it with a guy. Come and on, I have well, a feeling, who do you think's done it with a guy? That's my next question. I think, <laughs> I feel like Jax this has. I feel like fun. Jax has done it with a guy. Right. I do. I, I do. do as well. I feel like Jax so has pretty much done it with everybody. I think so too. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to feel bad that I haven't done it with Jax, but also. Um, I feel like I would just like a nice long cuddle with Tom Sandoval. Oh, really? Yes. Right. I just want but to I hold think him. If you did it with Jax, you'd end up tattooed on his body, and I don't think I that, think would, that be would be a good thing. I think that would be hilarious. <laughs> okay. So I was going to ask you, what's your current opinion of Jax? Would you keep on stop? I think we've done that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What are you most looking forward to this season on RHBH? Well, I love RHBH this season. I actually feel like it's a weird thing that. Last season never happened in a weird way. It's like Bobby Absolutely. Ewing. Yes. It's like all of a sudden it's like back with in the premiere with all the original ladies. And I think there's a, a ton of emphasis on all of your lifestyles, yes. which I think is fantastic to watch. It's so funny because when I went to the premiere, I nearly wore the same dress as last year just to say, well, Last didn't year didn't happen. happen. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did, but then I thought, no. Yeah. Um, if you had to choose one of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, it says excluding me, but I'm saying including okay. me, to shag, who would it be and why? Hmm. I'm really good. Oh, my God. And well, I would let Waka watch. I'm just saying if I can <laughs> help you out with this decision at all. Let's see. I've made out with Lisa Rinna already. You on this have? Show. Yeah, on this you show. You made out. Yeah, no, we kissed on this show. Um, who would I? You. Okay, good. Okay. What was going what was going through your mind when you recently interviewed Tom and Ariana from Vanderpump Rules? How how long do you think their relationship will last? Um, oh, how long do I think their relationship? Yes. I, I think it'll last. 
What about him? Uh, you know, man. Uh, oh my God! Like, well, did you, you see know, that show? Yeah. Okay. I was like cutting him off. Yeah, I felt exactly. terrible. Yeah, I felt no, bad. I didn't. I was thought you should have cut him off sooner. <laughs> okay, who's more your type than Jax or Tom Sandoval? Well, <sighs> Jax's body. I love Jax's body. Jax's I mean, body. I like. I, I, Look, I think Jax is quite amusing. I'm gonna say Sandoval. He's from St. Louis. He's so pretty. I mean, oh, he's see, so pretty. Really? Yes, okay. What about Schwartzy? He's I like cute. Schwartz. I like Schwartz. I like all the guys. Yeah, but he does yeah. shake a bit. Can you imagine actually doing? Have you seen all that shaking right. all the yeah, time? Yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. about that. That could put yeah. me off. Name one time Brandy Glanville has jumped the shark. Or jumped everything else for that matter. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know that Brandy has jumped the shark, but she. When she said that Joanna Krupa thing on my show, when she talked what, about, the, yes, the mm. smell of downstairs. I mean, yeah. I was like, oh my God, and my parents were here. Oh my God, yes, yeah, that crazy. was not a good moment. Yes. Um, why, dining right? at Sir, have you ever seen one of my employees do something naughty? No. Have you ever done anything naughty with anybody That's, that works for me? Or no. misbehave badly at any of my establishments? No, I have not. Shadow Lounge? Oh. oh. Yes. yes, you have. Uh, Shadow Lounge. Okay, I forgot. Now, would you, do you still you, own the Shadow no, Lounge? No, I sold it, but did. I do know something. No, you don't know a thing. Yes, I, I was do. not. You know when you who I was go, then? Yes, I do. No, you don't. I, we have a mutual friend. No, we don't. Yes, we Who's do. Cedric? Uh, oh, well, that too, I'm sure. No, I never had sex with Cedric. I, I don't even you. think I've met Cedric, as a matter of fact. No. Yeah. I don't okay, but I Shadow know. Lounge, you put up Shadow some naughty stuff there. Yes. Okay. See? Are we good? Perfect. I got it all. Okay. <laughs> I got Thanks, the Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> that was fun. It's all good.